standing underneath the lights. Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and hanging out with me for today's kitchen organization makeover video. Everything that I'm sharing with you in today's makeover is all from Kmart, so it is all very affordable, super budget friendly. It definitely will not break the bank. In fact, everything that I picked up, it was well and truly under $100. So absolutely will not break the bank. I know that when you buy food storage containers, it can get really expensive really quickly. Now, all I'm doing to start with is just pulling out absolutely everything by food storage category. So to start with, I'm taking out everything that is in my glass jar storage containers, and this is predominantly mason jars. So again, very affordable with the existing storage that I've got and Ikea spice jars and a couple of big glass canisters that I already had from Kmart. Once everything was out and on the bench, it gave me a really good opportunity to evaluate what I needed, what I wanted to keep, identify some things that I wanted to use up quickly. And then to come up with a bit of a game plan, figuring out what additional food storage containers I needed to buy and where I wanted to put everything. Quiet voices in the night. And that's the situation that we're working with. So with all these glass jars, bottles, storage containers, what do you think that any reasonable minded person would do? Go out and buy some more, obviously. I might have a tiny slice problem. A bit addicted to buying food storage containers. Uh, but you know what? It's not a problem if you admit it's a problem. So quite an array of food storage containers, different kinds. This isn't even actually all of them. So all these spice containers, I've probably got twice again as many that are in the boot of my car waiting to go to charity. But I am going to really have a good hard stock take. I know a lot of these I've had for, I'm going to say they're like five years old. Like that, that, and that. I'm pretty sure I know the dish that I bought those for. And that was a long time ago. So I am going to just throw them away. I can literally go through here and see all the ones that I know I use on a regular basis. And it's probably five or six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Really eight maximum. I'm gonna to toss all these and I know it seems like a waste, but I haven't used them, I'm gonna get rid of them. And then I'm gonna be a little bit more sensible with what I buy, knowing the kind of things that I cook. <laughs> be sensible with what I buy. Hmm. Standing on if you have a tiny kitchen or you are limited for space, I can highly recommend picking up a simple shelf like this. I picked this particular one up from Target. I think I paid $49 for it. It was very, very affordable and it has held an absolute ton. I've used it for literally everything that I can think of that I store in my kitchen. So coffee cups, the coffee machine. I've used it for drinking glasses. I've used it for food storage, obviously, and canisters. And it is an absolute lifesaver for small space kitchens. I can promise you're the only thing I see. Now, if you are not the type of person who enjoys watching someone organize, reorganize, and then reorganize again the same thing 150 times over, you probably want to click off this video now. But when I reorganize this space, I literally just push things around everywhere. I try every single thing in probably every configuration and I just keep tweaking and moving things around until I find what works, what suits my needs. So while I do change it around quite a few times, it's not going to make sense to have things that I use every day or things that my kids need stored way up high in the top cupboards, which you need a step stool to access every time you need to grab for it. It just won't work. It won't make sense. And that is why I spend so much time when I am rearranging, just really planning out and thinking about where I want things. And honestly, if it takes me rearranging the shelf level three times to get it just right, then that is just what I'm going to do. Similar to how your wardrobe needs change from season to season, I find that your kitchen storage needs also change from summer to winter. In summer, I always drink smoothies and green juices, so I like to have the appliances like my bullet blender and juicer out and easily accessible. But now that the weather is cooling down in Australia, 
I'm using things like my slow cooker and my cast iron Dutch oven a whole lot more. So I wanna bring those things down to where I can access them really easily, frequently, without any fuss at all. I also wanted to rethink the position of my microwave. This is a really bulky appliance that is taking up some prime real estate in my kitchen. And to be honest, we only use it maybe once a week, twice max. So it makes absolutely no sense to have it front and center in the kitchen, taking up all that really good storage space. I never gave the key to you, even though I wanted to. Should be trying something new, but now my body's sick. I'm tired of dwelling in the dark. It's just that my heart can't take it. I didn't know what it would cost me when I let you go. I feel alone. Now I've just literally given myself way too many options. Initially, I moved the microwave out, planning to store my Dutch oven and my slow cooker in this space because as I mentioned before this is stuff that I'm going to be using more frequently during winter but then I popped this bamboo bench in here and I thought well maybe it could hold the stuff that is up there and clear out that visual clutter oh so irritating <laughs> then I shifted my toaster down thinking I could possibly like put that there and store it down instead of it being on the bench top but then I was like I use my toaster every single day what is the point of putting it out of easy access this is the progress and I had wanted to be finished by now but not quite there yet but it is looking like a mess but it's actually just a couple of things that I need to put away uh, these used to be in here but I switched it out for the spices that I actually use and these two are on notice so it's either use it or lose it for those and then these back ones I know I use all the time these ones I'm going to toss because I just don't use them and then I'll wash them out and add them to the charity collection of the other. I could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. It is finally starting to come together. It has been changed around about 4,535,000 times, but it's starting to look good. I finally figured out how I kind of want to use these things. I like how that's going. So actually another thing I can get rid of are that size glass. I kept that size for my kids just so they could access them down low because having the glasses up there previously, obviously they can't get them easily and quickly and safely. So now that I've switched them down to there, can get rid of these ones. So the other thing I'm gonna chuck away is these. I know that you're supposed to actually return medication to pharmacies, but since these are just like fat burners, expired fat burners, I don't think that there's gonna be any risk with chucking them in the rubbish. And the other similar thing that I wanna chuck away is these like they're Omega-3 fish oil capsules and they just stink. Like the smell of them is so gross and then when you eat them, you've got that kind of aftertaste, fishy aftertaste in your mouth the whole day. <laughs> it's so disgusting. So these are going in the bin as well. I don't really think it's a problem chucking these away because literally what's the worst that's gonna happen? You're gonna have some druggy going through your rubbish and have fat burners and omega-3, you're gonna be like a skinny druggie with bad breath. So good luck to you. All right, I think I've done as much as I can. I need to pop out to Kmart. Um, I'm going to pick up another of the bamboo pantry shelves, maybe if I can find one 
another one of those embossed canisters just because I've only got five and I think they're discontinuing them and I want six because they fit perfectly there, they fit perfectly there and they also fit perfectly in my pantry so I'd just like to have a full set even if I don't exactly use them just now. I know when I switch things out and I do like to switch things out just to keep it fresh and keep it interesting, um, I like to have even numbers of everything. If I close my eyes and think about us, I can see the person I know I should be. Cause honestly, I don't have no time to waste. I'm trying to come back to you because now I see we were meant to be. $19. Kind of pricey for Kmart, I've got to say. Alright, so now I'm going to just stick it up there where the other one used to be. I took the other one and put it down there. So now I'm putting this one up there. Where my microwave used to be I decided to put my appliances that I use through winter my vitamins and all of the smoothie and supplement things that I still use but I really don't need to be getting them super super frequently the slow cooker is in the back but it's still really easy access and I can just pop the baskets out of the way and grab it when I need it I didn't care if we were acting stupid Cause all we had was us If I close my eyes now it comes to my favorite part of the whole kitchen organization and makeover and that is putting all of the food and the groceries into the new containers and then just organizing them where I want them in the kitchen this is absolutely my favorite part so I hope you enjoy watching this section wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely we could be gazing at the stars but now it feels just like i wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me i never gave the key to you even though i wanted to i should be trying something new but now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark, it's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it cost me when I let you go I feel alone, and I'm just singing mm, mm, mm. It should have been you Another time, another place, I just know mm, It could have been you Too many
Now this was the stage where I was planning on stopping this video. I wasn't initially planning on going through all the rest of my food storage, but I figured we'd come this far, we may as well continue and finish everything out. So I pulled out all of my plastic divided storage containers, which I have featured a ton on my channel. They all come from Kmart, the divided storage containers. The two on the ends with handles come from Howard Storage World, which is the same as the container store in the US. And I just went through absolutely everything, just gave it a good once over, tweaked what needed to be tweaked, and then I ended up doing the pantry as well. And it was actually really worthwhile doing it because I realized that I had a lot of duplicates in the pantry, multiples of the same thing, some of them even open. So it was great to just consolidate, remove duplicates, and that freed up almost a whole shelf in the pantry. Another thing that I can highly recommend is getting everything out of packaging. It makes it look so much nicer, so much more cohesive, and it lets you get rid of all your rubbish and recycling in one hit. Standing on the the lights look into each other's eyes tired snowflakes are coming down collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets yesterday has gone to sleep so all that's left is you and me you're the only thing I say Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away Build a secret place for you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream So guys, that is just about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and you got some inspiration and some motivation from my kitchen makeover. I'll be sure to leave all the products that I used linked in the description below. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe before you go or better yet, hang out with me and watch a few more videos. Have a great week. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.